Dataverse is nothing but the relational database or DBMS, relational database management system. Okay. In the RDBMS, the tables are there. They are going to store the data in the tables. These tables categorized into three tables. Some tables we call as a dimension table. Some tables are the fact tables. Some are the factless fact tables. So like that, they are categorized the, all the tables in the data warehouse. First, we are going to discuss the what is dimension table, what is fact table, what is factless fact table. Okay. So, dimension table is nothing but the textual description of the data. Okay. So, theoretical data, the textual description of the data is going to store into the dimension table. Okay. Textual description of the data. I am going to explain you. SQL description of the data. So, we cannot calculate this dimension table, we cannot do any summation aggregation. Okay, we cannot do the calculations. Example, dim underscore customer is a one table, dim underscore customer. So, customers is nothing but the who are the purchasing the who are the doing the transactions. So, those are all people it will come under the customers. For example, we want to take, we are going to any mall or any store, shop, we are going to do some purchase, some transaction, then we are the one of the customer, right? So, so what kind of information will be there in the customer table? Customer name, customer name, for each customer, they are going to generate one number, right? Customer number or customer ID, customer name. Mobile number. Yeah. So, their contact number or address or email ID. Okay. Like that, they are going to store the information, they are going to capture the information from the customer. That information they are going to store into the DIM customer table. So, here all the theoretical only address, contact number, we can't do any calculations, we can't do any summation here. Summation nothing, nothing but the, for example, some sales happen, sales table you can take. So, one, one product is going to sold the 10 quantities or each product will be 100. Like that, 10 products they sold means what happened? There will be 1000 rupees it came. You can able to sum this one. You can able to summation, you can do the aggregation. Data aggregation we can able to do here. Okay. That is that is not nothing happen in the dimension tables. It won't happen that that thing. It won't happen in the dimension table. Okay. So that is the dimension tables. Dimension tables are going to store the textual description of the data. We can't do any aggregation in the dimension tables. Okay. We can't able to do any aggregation in the dimension tables. Clear, guys. So, what are the dimension? They are going to ask this question mandatory guys in the interview. What is the dimension? What is the fact? So, dimension table is nothing but the textual description of the data. Okay. So, they are going to store the textual description of the data and then they can't do the any aggregation on the dimension. They can't apply the any aggregations on the dimension table. Example, you have to give example. Dim underscore customer. Here, they are going to store the Customer ID, customer name, email, contact, all those things. But they can't do any aggregation on the theoretical textual description. Some of the dimensions I am going to explain to you guys in the intro point of view. If they ask, can you tell me some examples, some tables on your project? What are the dimensions are there you are going to use, you are validated? So, they are going to ask this question in the interview. I am going to give some dimension tables. If you want, you can note down. Dim underscore product. Dim underscore org unit. Organization unit is the stores. The location, location this one. 
org unit okay location information stores information will be there here dim underscore date detail means time information will be there here okay dim underscore vendor vendors information will be there so like that you can give some examples dim underscore customer dim underscore product dim underscore org unit dim underscore date details dim underscore vendor okay dim underscore employee okay sorry so clear guys so always most of the time most of the companies the dimension table start with the dim dim okay some companies they won't follow the even this naming convention but 70 to 80 percent of the companies they're going to follow the dimension table with the start with the dim dim underscore customer dim underscore product dim underscore org unit dim underscore date details dim underscore vendor dim underscore employee so these are the dimension table examples guys these are real time dimension table examples okay next come to the fact table what is mean by fact table so fact table is nothing but the measures of calculated interest okay fact table is nothing but the measures of calculation interest measures of calculated interest means means it will store the numerical data it will store the numerical data so along with the numerical data it is going to store the so dimension table reference keys also is going to store dimension table reference keys also is going to store into the fact table okay i am going to explain in the diagram way so you will get the clear for example this is the one fact table guys sales is a fact table okay so i am going to draw the some dimension tables so this is a product dimension this is a date dimension this is a customer dimension this is a location dimension okay so in the dimension table i am going to write what are the columns are there attributes are there for example this is a customer id customer id customer name okay just i'm going to give some names guys uh, columns customer address so th these three columns i mentioned here as of now okay next come to the product product underscore id name description product description something on brand something like that okay and then come to the date date id day week start sorry date week id something like that it will be there okay and then location id location name okay location address something like that and some information is there okay these are the different different kind of dimension tables clear guys customer dimension product dimension date dimension location dimension okay store name store id all the information will be there here okay this is the fact table fact underscore sales okay this is the fact table the fact table though i told the measures of calculated interest means here it will going to store the numerical data along with the numerical data the dimension table ref keys is going to means foreign keys is going to store into the keys also the dimension table ref keys is going to store into the fact table okay for example here this is the primary keys 
customer id means one customer one code is going to allocate the one id only right for one code the say for example for me they going to allocate 101 the same code they can't allocate to any other customer if so, allocate the other customer then we can't able to find the who is the customer for this 101 we can't predict who is the done the transactions okay so always it will be unique the customer id will be unique your product id will be unique your date will be unique and the location will be unique so these all are the unique ids okay customer id product id all those will be unique ids for one customer one cust one customer id will be there but here come to the the same customer multiple times they can be able to do the transactions right so this customer id will be a foreign key here okay here they are going to store the customer id product id location id date id quantity amount profit something like that something like that it is going to store the data into the sales table fact fact table here these all are will be these all are will be numerical number numerical values quantity is nothing but the how many how, many, how much quantity happened this customer how much quantity he brought what is the amount how much you got the profit and then this customer this particular product this location this store this on particular date he brought some amount quantity like that we can able to calculate the data here you can able to aggregate the data here understand right what is the fact table fact table is nothing but the is going to measures of calculated interest means it's going to store the numerical data this numerical along with the numerical data they're going to store the they're going to store the dimension table ref keys is going to populate in the fact table 